Hey, hello, you're stuck in traffic with Wolf World. A couple minutes of riff on IT and IT security. Today, looking at auditing of mailbox access. So, when I was on the Appalachian Trail, right, there's really only two sources of conversations. Um, what are you eating? And what kind of gear did you pack? And you become very obsessed with all the outdoor stores, right? Uh, the North Face, uh, Cabela's, Columbia Sportswear. But even as you're in the middle of the woods, even as you're, you know, out doing things that haven't been done for 200 years, uh, the technology behind it is very, very modern, right? It's not uncommon for companies like Columbia Sportswear to have massive arrays of compute and storage to handle their online shopping, the process and distribution. And what's the main way to get into those systems? Email, of course. So tip to you, uh, audit your email. And very specifically, and you'll see why in a moment, audit access to mailboxes from people who do not own those mailboxes. There was a recent uh, attempt at hack or actual, actual hack at Columbia Sportswear. And basically the way it worked was this IT guy who was there for many years, rose up to the ranks. He left in place um, a back door to get in and left in place a way to read people's emails and, uh, and then went to an IT vendor. Now, whenever you look at these attacks, remember we have to think, hey, what is the motivation of the attacker? What are they trying to achieve? What drives them? What's the financial benefit? And here, because he's working an IT vendor, what he was doing was he was using this email access um, for competitive advantage. So if he was trying to sell Columbia Sports or something, for example, um, and someone else is trying to sell them the same storage, he may read those emails, figure out the price, figure out the vendor, try and register that deal with the vendor, and then call them back up and say, hey, Columbia Sports, or guess what? I thought you might want to share with this new product, and by the way, I can beat or I can get the price down to X, knowing that that price is slightly less than the competition. This was the economic driver. The attack looks something like this: the back door went in over a VDI connection using a uh, username that was never checked, it was open for several years. That VDI connection opened up, you know, a desktop. A desktop would open up a mailbox. Then he would use a service account to proxy in to various people's exchange mailboxes. This is very similar to a, another attack that I looked at a while ago uh, that was involved in investigating where the IT administrator was using the backup account, exchange backup account, to read the executive team's emails. All right, very common uh, attack now. So um, what are some controls, obviously, on the user end? Checking, you know, good user hygiene to make sure that no old accounts exist. Uh, for service accounts, not actually giving admin folks those passwords, instead of using a uh, myriad of the service managers. But, but, in both the attack that I investigated with the backup agent and um, this particular event, one of the key things, and this doesn't happen very often in a real world scenario, one of the key indicators of this attack is a non-user accessing someone's mailbox, right? So I log in and I open from exchange um, your mailbox because I've got permissions to it because I'm using a service account. Very unusual. So I would recommend, and not many people do this right now, auditing for that type of access. Click on the audit and go. Now it's not easy. There's some, a lot of PowerShell commands you need to run. Uh, there's a report in Exchange called uh, the Non-Owner Access Report that you could, once you have the auditing settings run enabled, you can run that report and see you accessed it. Uh, if you're using on-prem, you can have it logged to a file and use a piece of software called LogBinder. LogBinder will read those logs, send them to your SIM, and then you can add correlation rules, right? Naming them right. Uh, add correlation rules so that you can alert when someone's doing this access. Uh, if you're using Office 365, not really clear how to do that just yet. A lot of these features are moving into the security and compliance control panel, so keep a close eye on that security and compliance control panel um, and see if there's options in there that would help. In this scenario, everything I just listed, you'll start to get alerts on whenever anyone is proxying into a mailbox. Now, sometimes that may be normal, right? In a, a receptionist or an executive admin who's tasked with going ahead and doing that. But a lot of, and you can create exceptions for that first. But a lot of times, uh, if someone's doing that, they're up to something that's no good. So add those rules, check for it, and, uh, and throw in your SIM. What do you think? What are other ways to uh, look at this type of attack and prevent it? Hit me up in comments or social media. I don't know, by the way, a lot of people helped me out on the, the exchange part of this, so shout out to um, 
Adam Hopkins, uh, Adrian Sanabria, uh, Gary Smith, Neil, the Silent Koala himself, uh, Jason Brown, and a few other folks who hit me up on social media when I was like, hey, how would you detect these things? All right. Thanks so much and see you later.